Right you guys, got another Windows 8 video here for you. In this one we're going to be taking a look at Metro Sidebar. Now Metro Sidebar is a free tool that you can use to put a little Metro Sidebar user interface on the right hand side of your desktop. So you can get it from this website here, metrosidebar.com and it's a free download as you can see here and you will need to make sure that you've got .NET Framework 4.0 installed. Now on Windows 8 it's already installed so you won't need to worry about that. So let's have a look at the actual uh, program once we've installed it. Now you may be asking why do I need a Metro user interface on the side of my desktop when we've already got a Metro user interface. Well this is a handy little small right hand sided um, sidebar here which I find is useful and you can always auto hide it so it disappears and you won't need to uh, clug up your whole desktop. So let's have a look at the uh, program once we've installed it. So I'm just going to quickly install this. Now this program's in early uh, development stages. It's still got some features that needs to be added. So I'm just going to quickly restart the system here. And we'll just let Windows load up. Okay, so I'm back at the desktop, and as you can see here, this is the actual uh, Metro sidebar. And it's pretty nifty. You've got the clock here, you've got your uh, user account, and also you've got the weather. You can add in some pictures. So you can change all these tiles to what you want. You can see there's an alarm here, and you've also got some handy little keys here which are computer control panel and what might you just click on these and up they come now you see it disappeared and that's because it's been set to auto hide and uh, you've got your media player here and also there you can have up to four pages of these so when you flick these the pages will flick over let me just show you the uh, settings here inside the settings panel you will have uh, the option to auto hide so if I took the auto hide out you've got dock also always on top and start with windows you've got your update feature here so let me just close that off and then we'll open this back up so you just could basically go back up to the top and click on this here inside here you can also add more tiles so you can go through here and add more tiles I think they're going to be adding more of these features in as time goes on and also there's an online feature which is coming soon so it's early doors yet but once you uh, can imagine the amount of tiles that you can have on here you can have four pages of all your content that you want ie stock exchange stuff like that I can imagine all these useful tools that you can have built into your little uh, metro sidebar here and I think it's much better than having the whole desktop um, showing all the time once you click on it so if you had this on auto hide here let me just uh, go back to settings and put this on auto hide and then we can close this and when I click on the desktop it disappears which I think is a much nicer feature than having the whole Metro user interface so all you need to do is get it back up you just click on the top corner and up it comes and this has been uh, the start button has been added back by start is back so it just looks like Windows 7 and we've also got our little um, Metro sidebar here. So that's basically how you add in a Metro uh, sidebar on a Windows 8 machine. Now it may work on Windows 7, I'm not sure, I need to check that out. But all in all I think it's a pretty nifty little uh, tool to have on your Windows machine. And it's in early development stages so I can imagine this will be very helpful with uh, other tiles that you can add in like stock exchange and stuff like that and uh, other bits and pieces like your Facebook tab and all that sort of stuff. I can imagine it being totally customizable in the future. I like it a lot and I think it'll be very useful. Uh, so maybe gadgets and uh, sidebars are on the way back for Windows 8, who knows. So my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, hit that like button guys, it really does help me out. And also hit the subscribe button if you uh, want to keep up to date with any uh, new videos that I uploaded. I hope you like my new intro. If you do, then let me know down in the comments below. And I'll be making more useful videos again in the future. So thanks again for watching guys. Have a great weekend and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye for now.